It's the laid-back little town famous for its surprising Mardi Gras party. Now locals in Hay say they're in shock about a big credit card bill. I'd love to see receipts for all that spending and ha- him explain actually what he's purchased. The corporate card was held by Hayshire Council's former general manager, Alan Dwyer. An FOI request by the ABC reveals more than $500,000 in charges over a three-year period. The spending includes cash withdrawals of $73,600 from ATMs. Alan Dwyer says the cash withdrawals were all for official business. There's nothing untoward about any of that. I mean, all, all of those uh, uh, were itemised on the, on the bank statement, on the credit card statements. The auditors, or, or there's nobody raised any issue with those. However, a 2016 council audit found $28,100 of the cash withdrawals were unsubstantiated card transactions because no receipts and invoices were provided. The auditors also said more than $30,000 in personal spending, such as groceries, fresh meat and even pharmaceuticals, were billed to the card. It suggested the card usage and accounting breached financial regulations. Alan Dwyer had an agreement with council permitting personal use and he made monthly repayments. Sometimes I was a bit behind but uh, uh, whenever it was brought to my notice I always uh, paid it in full. Hayes Mayor Bill Sheaf is comfortable with the accounting. I was of the belief that most of it had been checked out by the the relevant staff. The FOI documents show $117,000 was repaid by Alan Dwyer, some after he resigned last year. Peter Dwyer, a local bus driver and independent councillor, believes the sloppy bookkeeping needs a deeper inquiry. We need to get to the bottom of it and how far this does go back. Alan Dwyer now leads Cootamundra Gundagai Regional Council. We learn by, uh, by what goes wrong and uh, it also largely dependent on the expertise of, of the staff that you have working with you. For its part, Hayshire Council has a new GM and has toughened up its financial controls. That's unlikely to satisfy locals who say a wider investigation into Council's books is needed. Moira Shields, ABC News.